It's nice to see people that are concerned about the way this world is and how we can change it in a positive fashion. Tonight I'm going to be speaking to you about communal living. Uh, this is what we do in our house in Ramsey, called the Ramsey House. Uh, we originated with Ocu Occupy Calgary. So uh, we had Occu Everything, which was our collective conscious uniting. For this one it would be community. Wrong way. There we go. In the beginning, there was many people, very many people. I was still wearing the exact same shirt as I am today. Um, it, it shows up a lot. I think I'm really getting limited clothing these days. But that's good, because uh, it's a happy shirt. We were inspiring. This was the first day down at the rally. We had amazing friendships that we didn't even know that were just starting to be formed. We were passionate. We were excited about life, about how we were going to positively change the world and how we were going to affect people. We were brilliant. We had some amazing, amazing voices that got up and took a chance and, and said what they felt in their hearts and it really uh, took people to the next level. And we were nuts. It was cold and after the rally there wasn't as many of us, but uh, we, we decided to camp down there for a while and see how that would go. See if we could piss some people off. Uh, the whole idea was a quote by Margaret Mead, never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. Indeed, it's the only thing that ever has. I would uh, highlight committed for sure. Uh, this is the tent city propane heater side chats. This is where it all started. Uh, down in Olympic Plaza, freezing our butts off, hanging out on whatever furniture that we could find. Um, pretty much playing whatever thing, anything that wasn't really cold. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> enjoying each other's company. Well, uh, trying to stay away from CPS and bylaw. Uh, it, we had chilly communal evenings, sometimes there wasn't many people out on the street, so, uh, but it, it was a beautiful place. This is uh, the geodome uh, that Matt kindly brought down, and this is the message that we were putting together. Um, it has another layer there too. Uh, they wanted to charge us $3,000 a day to keep it there, because it says you are beautiful. So this is, this is the message that we brought. This is the response we got. Um, Bylaw officers, CPS, and media, and people angry because they thought that we were moving in permanently. <laughs> we all shared ideas of an egalitarian society, of rights for everyone, and for a free Canada, truly. We had uh, ideals that we were representing um, we had a lot of fun with people asking us what was our intent in the occupation and we'd say exactly, intent. As a group we were rather intense, so that uh, had fun with that. Uh, we made lots of fans, for example, uh, the guy in the chicken suit that came to our rallies. Um, I don't know what he means by smelly hippies, I really don't get that. <laughs> what do you mean I'm wearing the same shirt? Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> These are some things that we learned. Uh, don't trust the media. This is the truth. Um, I never really experienced it until I had the time down there to really find out what it was all about. Uh, they're paid for a reason. Um, I had some interesting speakers that I've heard. One called them prostitutes, and another one called them weapons of mass distraction. <laughs> so watch out for them. Check your Google, your YouTube, your Facebook. Talk to people, engage. Uh, things we lost. Where is my voice? We didn't have a chance to tell people what we wanted to tell. We had many leaders. <laughs> many questions. We waited peacefully outside chambers while they went and ate for two hours. After debating over electoral signs for an hour, the <laughs> six inches on how big they could be. Still, we were unanswered and we waited. But then we got our injunction, so we decided that there was a better idea. We decided to beautify the space, so we packed everything up. 
and we left behind the heart of the beast. Uh, along with many, many, many messages, uh, which you've seen in previous slides, about how we hadn't had the opportunity to have our voices heard. Um, what we learned from the occupation as we moved our residents to Ramsey was, again, inspired by Dylan, who's here this evening. Love is the key. Uh, that's in upstairs right now, and it sits out in front of our Ramsey home. Uh, this is our address, 1022 and 24 9th Street Southeast. There's 13 of us occupying uh, a 12 bedroom home. It's ginormous. This is our front lawn. We have a fire pit there. There's usually more chairs around, but it's been rainy. Uh, and there's usually about 15 people sitting out here at the end of the night, playing guitar, or singing, whatever it is that uh, has, happens to be happening that evening. But it's always fun and it's always friendly. We don't have problems. Uh, we just have a lot of garbage. Um, this is the boys' side, so we'll go in on this side. We have lots of bikes and more bikes. We're trying to be an environmentally friendly group. Uh, there's myself and uh, there's Henek. I asked everybody for a quote or something that they'd like me to say. <laughs> Henek said, go fuck yourself. Um, next there was Ian. Thank God I live in a collective house or I would die. <laughs> uh, Ryan. Bah! He didn't want to get up, so he, that was him. Um, Tavis, Brett doesn't speak for us. He is a neo-Nazi hippie with a neo-fascist agenda. <laughs> I know, I live with these people. Um, this is upstairs in our common room, our conversation room. This is love, this is done by Mark. He's another one of our artists. There's a lot of artists that hang out in our community, so if you're artistic, you found the right place. Um, Another couch, more music stuff, rainbow flag, meditation and progress sign. Uh, we try and do as, play as much music as possible. It seems to keep everybody interested. Again, more music stuff and uh, the plants that we're growing because we're going to start permaculturing our yard. We really think that that's the way to move people forward in consciousness is helping them grow their own food. And uh, so that's something we're going to be a big part of. This is the wall where we're trying to decide what to call our palace. There's a gazillion names up there. Um, the Grapes of Ramsey, I really like. Uh, the Love Shack, uh, Face House Book. <laughs> if you have any ideas, please come over and throw them up there because there's a lot of good ones. Um, this is the kitchen. So there's usually about between four and 10 people moving through that area. It seems to be very popular because um, there's we have two fridges and they're always on the go and uh, there's always food coming out of there um, this is when you live in an activist house you must be aware of what bills are going on and whatnot so we have bill c3 c309 right now that we're fighting against uh, being able to wear bandanas and so this is our board and our bandanas for when we are called to action uh, this is downstairs again by Mark. This is our new Occupy banner. Occupy Om. Interesting that the curtain led, led it to that. I really appreciate that. And it's Occupy Home. That's what we're trying to create. Downstairs especially is trying to be a yoga, meditation, a, a sacred space. It's, it's not very clean in these pictures, which is, it's more clean than not clean, but I didn't have time to clean up, so I said screw it. <laughs> and uh, this is our, our area where we have an excellent library with CDs, DVDs, audio books, books. It's all free. Please come over and enjoy them. If you have any questions, we can guide you towards stuff that can, that they'll help you uh, in, in your spiritual life. And this is a, a nice reading space. It's also where Henrik sleeps because I snore. And uh, this is a headquarters or where we have a gazillion computers and there's usually bodies in there, which is really weird that I got a picture without anybody in there. I think their food just showed up. Um, this is another picture that was done. Uh, this hangs in our room. This is by, by Henrik and Mark. Kill TV, uh, a quote by John Lennon. If everyone demanded peace instead of another television set, then there'd be peace. I really, I really affiliate with that one. This is uh, our backyard and our another fire pit. We have a ginormous backyard, which is gonna all be permaculture. 
because when you have the use of so many hands, it's easy to get stuff done. For example, the other night we made 20 veggie lasagnas in three hours, but and nobody had to sweat. It was it was a it was a fun process, and we all ate lots too. Um, another part of our backyard, again, more bikes. Uh, if anybody knows anybody that knows how to fix bikes, we have a lot of bikes. We want to have a aha! I saw that, Colin. Very nice. We want to have a workshop, so if anybody's interested, we want to do lots of workshops at our house where you can come over, live, learn, love, have conversation, and have fun. Um, Martin and Ryan set up a couple rain barrels that we have on the go right now. This is the other side, or the better half. Uh, that's Rob and Rexy. Um, Aaron and some more couches. Here we have Rexy. Uh, so I had to ask for a quote from Rexy. And Rexy said, all you need is love. I think John Lennon said that too, so I had to give them both credit. Um, Courtney, that's uh, Rexy's mom. Courtney said, after solitary living, this is quite a shock. Oh yes, it's a shock. I found out this active, stimulating environment is exactly what I needed. This is a perfect place for, for self-improvement. Together we will make this world a better place. Yay, Courtney. Awesome. Uh, much nicer than the people on my side, if you noticed, so far. It gets better, too. Uh, this is Ronnie, also known as Lao Tzu. He quotes the Tao whenever we ask him anything. <laughs> uh, so, this is what Ronnie said. We join spokes together in a wheel, but it is the center hole that makes the wagon move. We shape clay in a pot, but it is the emptiness inside that holds whatever we want. We hammer wood for a house, but it is the inner space that makes it livable. We work without being, but non-being is what we use. Yeah, well, he gets that every time at home, too. He gets this, wow. And we all sit there for a bit and look at each other. It's awesome. Love you, Ronnie. <laughs> uh, Aaron, let's have a naked party. Um, yeah, that's all he ever says. <laughs> Rob, home is where the heart is, which was also mine as well, and I think that has a lot to do with Dylan's piece. Chelsea, I am distracted by all the crazy things that are happening all around me in this house, and I love it, because it truly puts into perspective what I value most. I just wish there were more hours in the day. Yes. Uh, so these are some of the things that we do, um, so come on down. First of all, we got weekly potlucks, Thursday, and that should say Sunday evenings at 5. So I did, I did this this morning, so that's Sunday. Uh, the cuisine is always unique, mostly healthy and extremely tasty. Weekly general assemblies, we're still having at Occuplaza or Olympic Plaza however you like to call it. If it's chilly outside, we meet in the Baraka Lounge, which is located in the Epcore Center right across from McLeod Trail and 8th Avenue. If it's sunny, we meet in the, th in the amphitheater in the northwest uh, corner of the plaza. It's fun in there because your voice just amplifies its heat. Um, what day was that? Every Saturday, Marty. You'll be there. Um, food Reclamation Sundays, also known as Super Dumpster Sundays. This, this event is picking up speed. Uh, meet at our house, 8.30 Sunday evenings. We're usually done by about midnight. And I also thought I'd throw in there. We're very interested in permaculture, spin farming, aquaponics, and food sharing. There's always people around our house that are talking about stuff like that. So if that interests you, come on down. Uh, this is something that we're just implementing. Daily yoga from 9 to 10 a.m. Classes are free. We're going to be, as soon as the weather warms out, out in the field and get as many people out as we can to really create the space. Um, daily meditations at 2 and at 10. I usually do one at 6 a.m., but I don't think anybody will come over for that. So that's cool. Uh, weekly documentary, Wednesday nights this week. We're, tomorrow we're showing David Wilcox's source field investigations. If you haven't seen it, it's awesome. I just watched it yesterday and created this today. Um, Henrik and Mark yesterday solved the entire universe <laughs> with Occupy. It works out, you'll have to ask them. I don't know the exact um, rhythm of the whole rhyme, but it ends up being four. And four is the number of, help me out. Yeah, 
so I guess, so if you want more details on how the universe works, they can help you. Um, we are giving birth to a new communal society. The community which has neither poverty nor riches will always have the noblest principles by Plato. A small body of determined spirits fired by an unquenchable faith in their mission can alter the course of history. Mahatma Gandhi. This is something that we really figured out at the, at the occupation. We're all in this together. It doesn't matter if you like people or you dislike them. We're all in here together. We wouldn't keep coming to this stuff if we didn't think we were going to figure it out eventually. So reach out. Get outside of your comfort zone. Get outside of the box. Say hi to somebody you never met before. Hug somebody. It feels good. Um, the truth speaks. When the power of love overcomes the love of power, the world will know peace. Jimi Hendrix. I love you, Jimi. Um, what would I suggest? Find your answers in the heart. Faith. Listen, listen to your inner guide. The time is now. The people are around you. It's in your hands. At the center of nonviolence stands the principle of love. Occupy Calgary, six-month rally. We're still here. April 14th down at Bankers Hall. Please come down. We had our three-month rally on January 15th, and there was only about 30 of us, as opposed to the 800 we had at the first one. Mind you, it was minus 28. And yeah, it, we ended up marching to a uh, coffee shop. <laughs> it was really cool. And uh, this is where you can find us on Facebook, Occupy Calgary Group, Occupy Calgary Community, or the Ramsey House. In the end, what the world needs is a group hug. Thank you. Yes.